Mysterii Pascalis is the insipid of an apostolic letter issued motu proprio that is, of his own accord, by Pope Paul VI on 14 February 1969. It reorganized the liturgical year of the Roman Rite and revised the liturgical celebrations of Jesus Christ and the saints in the general Roman calendar. Context <inaudible> 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 By this document, Pope Paul VI implemented the Second Vatican Council's norms for restoring the liturgical year and approved by our apostolic authority. The new Roman Universal Calendar, and likewise the general norms concerning the arrangement of the liturgical year. On 21 March of the same year, the Congregation of Rites promulgated the revised norms on the liturgical year and the calendar by a decree signed by the Prefect Cardinal Benno Gutt and the Secretary Ferdinando Giuseppe Antonelli. The motu proprio and the decree were included, with an unofficial commentary by the Council for the Proper Implementation of the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, in the book Calendarium Romanum Libraria Editrice Vaticana, 1969. The new norms became effective on 1 January 1970. Topic. Liturgical year Topic. The principles indicated in the document Universal Norms for the Liturgical Year were declared applicable both to the Roman Rite and to all other liturgical rites, while the practical norms were to be understood as intended for the Roman Rite alone except insofar as by their very nature they concerned other rites as well. A liturgical day is defined as running from midnight to midnight except for Sundays and solemnities, which begin on the previous evening, Sunday, as the day of the resurrection of Christ, is the primordial feast day and does not admit other celebrations of rank below that of a solemnity or a feast of the Lord. In Advent, Lent and Easter, Sundays outrank even solemnities. With a very few exceptions, other celebrations are as a rule not to be assigned so that they always fall on a Sunday. The exceptions are the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the Baptism of the Lord, Trinity Sunday, the Feast of Christ the King, and, where any of these is not a holy day of obligation, Epiphany, Ascension of the Lord, and the Body and Blood of Christ, a new ranking of liturgical days in the Roman Rite was established with regard to celebrations of saints. In accordance with the relative importance of the celebrations, they are ranked as solemnities, feasts, or memorials. The solemnities of the Nativity of the Lord and Easter each have an octave, and memorials can be either obligatory or optional. Saints of worldwide significance are to be celebrated everywhere, while others are to listed in the general calendar as optional or are to be left to local or national calendars or those of religious institutes. Weekdays of special importance are Ash Wednesday and the Days of Holy Week, which outrank all other celebrations, and also the Advent weekdays from the 17th of December to the 24th of December, and all the weekdays of Lent. Special norms apply also to the Paschal Triduum, Eastertide, Lent, Christmastide, Advent, Ordinary Time, and Regation and Ember Days. <inaudible> Overview of changes to the proper of saints the volume Calendarium Romanum that presented the 1969 revision of the liturgical year and the general Roman calendar, pointed out that, while the Tridentine calendar, Pope Pius V's 1568 revision of the Roman calendar, contained only 65 feasts of double rank, the general Roman calendar of 1960 had 21 first-class feasts, 31 second-class, and 183rd class, as well as 106 commemorations. Some were feasts of saints who died later than 1568, others were added as devotional feasts or because monarchs and religious institutes wanted their own saints inserted. Indeed, before the reform of Pope Pius X, feasts were gladly added for the reason that celebration of matins on a saint's day involved recitation of only nine short psalms instead of the eighteen long psalms assigned on Sundays and the twelve long psalms assigned on weekdays. Accordingly, the Second Vatican Council decreed lest the feasts of the saints should take precedence over the feasts which commemorate the very mysteries of salvation, many of them should be left to be celebrated by a particular church or nation or family of religious, only those should be extended to the universal church which commemorate saints who are truly of universal importance. 
of devotional feasts, not celebrating an event in the mystery of salvation. Pope Pius V retained only two in the Tridentine calendar Corpus Christi and Feast of the Holy Trinity, but the following centuries saw the addition of Feasts of the Holy Name of Mary, 1683, Our Lady of Ransom, 1696, Our Lady of the Rosary, 1716, Holy Name of Jesus, 1721, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, 1726, Compassion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 1727, Seven Sorrows of Mary 1814, Precious Blood of Christ 1849, Sacred Heart of Jesus 1856, Our Lady of Lords 1907, Holy Family 1921, Christ the King 1925, Maternity of the Blessed Virgin Mary 1931, Immaculate Heart of Mary 1942, Queenship of Mary 1954, and Saint Joseph the Worker 1955. The devotional feasts of the Lord that have been kept with high ranking are Trinity Sunday, Body and Blood of Christ, Christ Christ the King, the Holy Family, and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The Holy Name of Jesus was at first removed but later restored as an optional memorial. The devotional feasts of the Blessed Virgin Mary that have been kept are those of her Motherhood of God, a solemnity, her Queenship, Sorrow, Rosary, and Presentation, obligatory memorials, and as optional memorials Our Lady of Lords, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major. Reduction of the number of devotional feasts of Our Lady results in raising of profile of the feasts of the Lord closely associated with the Mother of Jesus the Annunciation and the Presentation of the Lord and of the major feasts of mysteries of her life Immaculate Conception, Nativity, Visitation, and Assumption. Progress in historical and hagiographical studies led to distinguishing three classes of saints included in the 1960 calendar that it seemed better not to keep in the revision. One class is that of the saints about whom there are serious historical problems. It cannot be affirmed that they did not exist, but the lack of clear grounds for venerating them led to their exclusion from the 1969 calendar with the single exception of Saint Cecilia the 22nd of November by reason of popular devotion to her. Another class is that of those ancient Roman martyrs about whom there is clear historical evidence but of whom little, if anything, is known other than their names, with the result that they have little meaning for the faithful of today. A third class is that of the founders of the ancient Roman churches known as Tituli and about whom there exists a specific genre of legends. For lack of evidence that they were martyrs or confessors, as pictured in the legends, they were excluded from the revision, again with the single exception of Saint Cecilia. While the many Roman martyrs and popes that remained the popes reduced from 38 to 15 ensured that the tradition of a Roman calendar was preserved, the revised calendar also endeavored to maintain a certain geographical and chronological balance, by selecting from the martyrs inscribed in the 1960 calendar, the more famous ancient saints and those best known at a popular level in Rome and elsewhere, and adding some medieval and modern martyrs from different countries. A similar selection was made among non-martyr saints, with the result that 30 were removed to particular calendars. For the sake of geographical balance, most of these were Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Changes to the general Roman calendar, by month the following are changes introduced in 1969 by removal or transfer of celebrations in the calendar as it stood immediately before. Celebrations that remained unaltered are not indicated. New celebrations were also added to the calendar, the better to reflect the universality of the Catholic Church. For all of these, see General Roman Calendar. The explanations given are those published in Calendarium Romanum in 1969. By particular calendars are meant those of a particular church or nation or family of religious. The phrase, truly of universal importance, is also taken from the Second Vatican Council's Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, for pre-1969 removals and transfers of celebrations in the General Roman Calendar, see General Roman Calendar of Pope Pius XII and General Roman Calendar of 1960. January. Topic. Telephorus, 5 January, added in 1602, deleted, the feast was originally that of an otherwise unknown martyr, who was not a pope. Hyginus, the 11th of January, added in the 12th century, deleted, not a martyr and the date of his death is unknown. Felix, 14 January, moved to date of his death, 13 January. 
Paul, first hermit, the 15th of January, added in the 12th century, left to particular calendars in view of problems concerning the historicity of Saint Jerome's life of him. Mauer, the 15th of January, added in the 12th century, left to particular calendars, he was mistakenly identified with the Saint Maurice mentioned in the Roman Martyrology for this day. Marcellus, the 16th of January, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Prisca, the 18th of January, left to the calendar of the Roman Basilica that bears that name. Her acts are not only fabulous but also concern a different saint. Maris, Martha, Abicum and Autifax, the 19th of January, added in the 9th century, deleted. Nothing is known of them other than their names and place of burial. Canute, the 19th of January, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Anastasius, the 22nd of January, added in the 12th century, left to particular calendars. Emerentiana, the 23rd of January, added in the 9th century, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of her other than her name and place of burial. Raymond of Peñafort, the 23rd of January, moved to day after his death, the 7th of January. Timothy, the 24th of January, moved to the 26th of January, joined with Titus. Commemoration of Saint Peter on the 25th of January, deleted. Polycarp, the 26th of January, moved to date of his death, the 23rd of February. John Chrysostom, the 27th of January, moved to day before his death, the 13th of September. Peter Nolasco, the 28th of January, added in 1664, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Second Feast of Agnes, 28 January, deleted as a duplicate of her feast on 21 January. Francis de Sales, 29 January, moved to 24 January, day of his burial at Annecy in 1624. Martina, 30 January, added in 1635, left to the calendar of the Roman Basilica dedicated under the name of that person, of whom nothing is known. Sunday between 2 and 5 January, Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus, deleted, celebrated also on 1 January. The Mass is placed among the votive Masses. Sunday after Epiphany, the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, moved to within the octave of Christmas. February Ignatius, the 1st of February, moved to date of his death, the 17th of October. Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the 2nd of February, renamed Presentation of the Lord. Andrew Cursini, the 4th of February, added in 1666, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Titus, the 6th of February, joined with Timothy on the 26th of January. Dorothy, 6 February, added in the 13th century, deleted, her acts are completely fabulous. Romwald, 7 February, moved to date of his death, 19 June. John of Matha, 8 February, added in 1679, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Cyril of Alexandria, 9 February, moved to date of his death, 27 June. Apollonia, the 9th of February, added in the 13th century, left to particular calendars, although a genuine martyr, she is not included in Eastern calendars, this latter claim, however, is not correct. Apparition of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the 11th of February, renamed Our Lady of Lourdes. Seven founders of the Servite Order, the 12th of February, moved to date of Alexis Falconeri's death, the 17th of February. Valentine, the 14th of February, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of him other than his name and place of burial. Faustinus and Uvida, the 15th of February, added in the 13th century, deleted. Their acts are completely fabulous. Simeon, the 18th of February, added in the 12th century, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Peter Damian, the 23rd of February, moved to date of his death, the 21st of February. Matthias, the 24th of February, moved to the 14th of May. Gabriel of the Sorrowful Virgin, the 27th of February, added in 1932, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Topic: March. 
Topic Lucius I, the 4th of March, added in 1602, deleted, not a martyr. Perpetua and Felicity, the 6th of March, moved to date of their death, the 7th of March. Thomas Aquinas, the 7th of March, often falls in Lent, therefore moved to the date of transfer of his body, the 28th of January. Forty martyrs, the 10th of March, added in the 12th century, deleted. Many questions have been raised about the veracity of their acts. Gregory the Great, the 12th of March, always falls in Lent, therefore moved to the date of his episcopal consecration, the 3rd of September. Benedict, the 21st of March, always falls in Lent, therefore moved to the 11th of July, a date on which he has been celebrated in many places since the 8th century. Gabriel, the 24th of March, added in 1921, now joined to Michael and Raphael on the 29th of September. Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the 25th of March, renamed Annunciation of the Lord. John Damascene, the 27th of March, moved to date of his death, the 4th of December. John of Capistrano, the 28th of March, moved to the 14th of October, his date of death. Friday before Palm Sunday, Seven Sorrows of Mary, deleted as a duplicate of the 15th of September feast. Topic. April Topic. Leo I, the 11th of April, moved to date of his death, the 10th of November. Hermann Guild, the 13th of April, added in 1632, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Justin, the 14th of April, moved to the 1st of June, the date used in the Byzantine rite. Tiburtius, Valerian, and Maximus, the 14th of April, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of them other than their names and place of burial. Anicetus, the 17th of April, added in the 12th century, deleted, not a martyr, and his date of death is unknown. Soter and Keys, the 22nd of April, added in the 13th century, deleted, not martyrs, and the date of death of the former is unknown. The Greater Litany, the 25th of April, deleted as practically a duplicate of the Regation days. Cletus and Marcellinus, the 26th of April, added in the 13th century, deleted. Cletus seems not to be a martyr. His date of death is unknown, and that of Marcellinus is disputed. Peter Canisius, the 27th of April, moved to date of his death, the 21st of December. Paul of the Cross, the 28th of April, moved to the 19th of October, the date after that of his death. Peter of Verona, the 29th of April, added in 1586, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Catherine of Siena, the 30th of April, moved to date of her death, the 29th of April. Topic May. Topic. Alexander, Aventius, and Theodolus, and Juvenal, the 3rd of May, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of them other than their names and the place and day of their burial. Monica, the 4th of May, moved to the 27th of August, the day before the memorial of her son. Pius V, the 5th of May, moved to day before his death, the 30th of April. Stanislaus, the 7th of May, moved to date of his death, the 11th of April. Gregory Nazianzen, the 9th of May, joined with Basil the Great, moved to the 2nd of January. Antoninus, the 10th of May, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Gordian and Epimachus, the 10th of May, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of them other than their names and the place and day of their burial. Philip and James, the 11th of May, moved to the 3rd of May, the first day free after that of their ancient feast. Nerus, Achilles, Domitilla, and Pancras, the 12th of May, Nerus and Achilles and Pancras celebrated separately, Domitilla, added in 1595 removed as without basis in tradition Robert Bellarmine, the 13th of May, moved to date of his death, the 17th of September. Boniface Martyr, the 14th of May, deleted, the Passion of Saint Boniface of Tarsus is completely fabulous. John Baptiste de La Salle, the 17th of May, moved to date of his death, the 7th of April. Ubald, the 16th of May, added in 1605, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Pascal Bailon, the 17th of May, added in 1784, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. 
Venantius, the 18th of May, added in 1670, left to particular calendars, many difficulties have been raised about the veracity of his acts. Peter Celestine, the 19th of May, added in 1668, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Pudentiana, the 19th of May, left to the calendar of the Roman Basilica that bears her name, there is no certainty about the historical value of her acts. Urban I, the 25th of May, deleted, this martyr was not in fact the Pope. Eleutherius, the 26th of May, deleted, not a martyr and his date of burial is unknown. Bede, the 27th of May, moved to the date of his death, the 25th of May. John I, the 27th of May, moved to the date of his death, the 18th of May. Augustine of Canterbury, the 28th of May, moved to the date after his death, the 27th of May. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi's, the 29th of May, moved to date of her death, the 25th of May. Felix I, the 30th of May, deleted the martyr that ancient liturgical books celebrated on this day was not the Pope. Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen, the 31st of May, moved to the 22nd of August, renamed Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Petronilla, the 31st of May, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of her other than her name and date and place of burial. Topic: June. Topic: Angela Marici, the 1st of June, moved to date of her death, the 27th of January. Erasmus, the 2nd of June, left to particular calendars. Francis Caracciolo, the 4th of June, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Primus and Felician, the 9th of June, left to particular calendars. Margaret of Scotland, the 10th of June, moved to the date of her death, the 16th of November. John of San Facundo, the 12th of June, added in 1729, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance Basilides Cyrenus Nabor and Nazarius the 12th of June deleted their passion is completely fabulous Basil the Great the 14th of June moved to the day after his death the 2nd of January and joined to Gregory Nazianzen Vitus Modestus and Crescentia the 15th of June Vitus is left to particular calendars Modestus and Crescentia appear to be fictitious Gregory Barbarigo, the 17th of June, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Ephraim, the 18th of June, moved to the date of his death, the 9th of June. Mark and Marcellianus, the 18th of June, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of these martyrs other than their names and the place and day of their burial. Juliana Falconeri, the 19th of June, added in 1738, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance Gervis and Protes the 19th of June left to particular calendars nothing is known of these martyrs other than the discovery of their relics by Saint Ambrose Silvarius the 20th of June left to particular calendars not truly of universal importance Vigil of the Nativity of John the Baptist the 23rd of June reduced to the optional evening mass William, the 25th of June, added in 1785, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. John and Paul, the 26th of June, left to the Roman Basilica named for them. From the historical point of view, there are many difficulties concerning their passion. Vigil of Peter and Paul, the 28th of June, reduced to the optional evening mass. Commemoration of Paul, 30 June, abandoned, it was added to enable the Pope to follow up the 29 June celebration in St. Peter's with another in St. Paul's on the following day, but outside of Rome there is no need for this twofold celebration. July <inaudible> 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 Most Precious Blood of Our Lord Jesus Christ, the 1st of July, added in 1849, joined to Corpus Christi, deleted, the Precious Blood of Christ is celebrated in the Solemnities of the Passion, in those of Body of Christ and of the Sacred Heart and on the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. The Mass of the Precious Blood is placed among the votive Masses. Visitation of the BVM, the 2nd of July, moved to the 31st of May, between the celebration of the Annunciation and that of the birth of John the Baptist. 
Processus and Martinian, the 2nd of July, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of these martyrs other than their names and the date and place of their burial. Irenaeus, the 3rd of July, moved to date of his death, the 28th of June. Cyril and Methodius, the 7th of July, moved to date of Cyril's death, the 14th of February. Elizabeth of Portugal, the 8th of July, moved to date of her death, the 4th of July. Seven Holy Brothers, the 10th of July, deleted their passion is completely fabulous, and the day was in reality dedicated to four distinct commemorations. Rufina and Secunda, the 10th of July, left to particular calendars. Of these two saints, nothing is known other than their names and their place of burial. Pius I, the 11th of July, deleted, not a martyr and his date of death is unknown. John Gualbert, the 12th of July, added in 1595, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Nabor and Felix, the 12th of July, left to particular calendars. Bonaventure, the 14th of July, moved to date of his death, the 15th of July. Henry II, the 15th of July, moved to date of his death, the 13th of July. Alexius, the 17th of July, deleted, his life is fabulous. Camillus de Lellis, the 18th of July, moved to date of his death, the 14th of July. Symphorosa and her seven sons, the 18th of July, deleted, their acts are untrustworthy and are thought to be an imitation of the Passion of Saint Felicitas and her seven sons. Vincent de Paul, the 19th of July, moved to date of his death, the 27th of September. Jerome Emiliani, the 20th of July, moved to date of his death, the 8th of February. Margaret of Antioch, the 20th of July, deleted. The acts of Saint Margaret or Marina are entirely fabulous. Praxedes, the 21st of July, left to the Roman Basilica of that name. The acts of Saint Praxedes are fabulous. Apollinaris, the 23rd of July, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Liborius, the 23rd of July, added in 1702, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Christina, the 24th of July, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of her other than her name and her burial at Bolsena. Christopher, the 25th of July, left to particular calendars. Although the acts of Saint Christopher are fabulous, there are ancient testimonies to his veneration, but devotion to this saint is not part of the Roman tradition. Anne, the 26th of July, joined by Joachim, her husband. Pantaleon, the 27th of July, left to particular calendars. Scarcely anything is known of this Eastern martyr, and his acts are fabulous. Nazarius and Celsus, the 28th of July, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of them other than the discovery of their relics by Saint Ambrose. Victor I, the 28th of July, deleted. Not a martyr, and the date of his death is unknown. Innocent I, the 28th of July, deleted. He died on the 12th of March 417, not on the 28th of July. Felix, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of this martyr other than his name and his place and day of burial. Simplicius, Faustinus and Beatrice, the 29th of July, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of these martyrs other than their names and their place and day of burial. Abdon and Senon, the 30th of July, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of these martyrs other than their names and their place and day of burial. <laughs> August Holy Machabees, the 1st of August, left to particular calendars. Until 1960, they were merely commemorated in the celebration of Saint Peter in Chains. Under the revised rules, the memorial of Saint Alphonsus Liguori, now on the 1st of August, does not admit commemorations. Alphonsus Liguori, the 2nd of August, moved to date of his death, the 1st of August. Stephen the 1st, the 2nd of August, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Dominic, the 4th of August, moved to the 8th of August. Dedication of Our Lady of Snows, the 5th of August, renamed dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major with no mention of its fabled foundation. Sixtus II and Companions, the 6th of August, moved to the 7th of August, since the 6th of August is reserved for the Feast of the Transfiguration. Donatus, the 7th of August, left to particular calendars, not a martyr, his acts are fabulous. John Vienne, the 8th of August, moved to date of his death, the 4th of August. 
Syriacus, Largus and Smaragdus, the 8th of August, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of these martyrs other than their names and the place and day of their burial. Vigil of Lawrence, the 9th of August, deleted. Romanus, the 9th of August, left to particular calendars. His acts are fabulous, and devotion to him is unknown in the ancient tradition of Rome. Tiburtius, the 11th of August, left to particular calendars. Of him, nothing is known other than his name and the place and day of his burial. Susanna, the 11th of August, left to the calendar of the Roman basilica of that name. Her fabulous acts were composed as an explanation of the title of that basilica. Claire, the 12th of August, moved to date of her death, the 11th of August. Hippolytus, the 13th of August, celebrated jointly with Pontian. Cassian, the 13th of August, left to particular calendars. His devotion to him is not part of Roman tradition. Vigil of Assumption, the 14th of August, reduced to the optional evening mass. Eusebius, the 14th of August, left to the calendar of the Roman basilica that bears that name. Joachim, the 16th of August, joined with Anne, moved to the 26th of July. Hyacinth of Poland, the 17th of August, added in 1625, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Agapetus, the 18th of August, left to particular calendars, his acts are completely fabulous. Jane Frances de Chantal, the 21st of August, moved to the day before her death, the 12th of December. Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the 22nd of August, moved to Saturday after the Feast of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Timothy, the 22nd of August, left to particular calendars, of Timothy nothing is known other than his name and his place and day of burial. Hippolytus, the 22nd of August, deleted, as a duplicate of the same saint's feast on the 13th of August. Symphorian, the 22nd of August, left to particular calendars, devotion to him is not part of Roman tradition. Philip Benizi, the 23rd of August, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Zephyrinus, the 26th of August, deleted, not a martyr and his date of death is unknown. Joseph Calisanctius, the 27th of August, moved to date of his death, the 25th of August. Hermes, the 28th of August, left to particular calendars, of him nothing is known other than his name and the place and day of his burial. Sabina, the 29th of August, left to the calendar of the Roman Basilica that bears that name, her acts are fabulous. Rose of Lima, the 30th of August, moved to day before her death, the 23rd of August. Felix and Adoctus, the 30th of August, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of these martyrs other than their names and the place and day of their burial. Raymond Nonatus, the 31st of August, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Topic: September. Topic: Giles, the 1st of September, left to particular calendars. His acts are fabulous, and devotion to him is not part of Roman tradition. Twelve Holy Brothers, the 1st of September, deleted, their acts are fabulous, these martyrs who suffered in different places in Lucania were not blood brothers. Stephen of Hungary, the 2nd of September, moved to day after his death, the 16th of August. Pius X, the 3rd of September, moved to day after his death, the 21st of August. Lawrence Justinian, the 5th of September, added in 1690, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Hadrian, the 8th of September, left to particular calendars, an unknown Eastern martyr devotion to whom was accepted in Rome because of a basilica dedicated to him in the Roman Forum. Gorgonius, the 9th of September, left to particular calendars, of him nothing is known other than his name and his place and day of burial. Nicholas of Tolentino, the 10th of September, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Protus and Hyacinth, the 11th of September, left to particular calendars, of these two martyrs nothing is known other than their names and the place and day of their burial. Name of Mary, the 12th of September, added in 1684, deleted as a duplicate of the celebration of the birth of Mary. Seven Sorrows of Mary, the 15th of September, name changed to Our Lady of Sorrows. Nicomedes, the 15th of September, left to particular calendars, of him nothing is known other than his name and the place and day of burial. 
Euphemia, the 16th of September, left to particular calendars. Her acts are completely fabulous. Lucy and Geminianus, the 16th of September, deleted, duplicates the 13th of December feast of Saint Lucy, while Geminianus appears to be merely fictitious. Stigmata of Francis, the 17th of September, added in 1585, deleted, duplicates the 4th of October. Joseph of Cupertino, the 18th of September, added in 1769, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Januarius and Companions, the 19th of September, renamed to remove and Companions. Eustace and Companions, the 20th of September, deleted. The Passion of Saint Eustace is completely fabulous. Thomas of Villanova, the 22nd of September, added in 1659, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Maurice and Companions, the 22nd of September, left to particular calendars. Many historical problems are found in their passion, and they do not belong to Roman tradition. Linus, Thecla, the 23rd of September, deleted. His day of death is unknown, and he seems not to be a martyr. Our Lady of Ransom, the 24th of September, left to particular calendars, a devotion associated with the origins of the Mercedarian order. Cyprian and Justina, the 26th of September, deleted fictitious characters. Cosmas and Damian, the 27th of September, moved to the 26th of September. Dedication of Michael the Archangel, the 29th of September, renamed, joined with Raphael and Gabriel Topic. October Topic. Rimagius, 1 October, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Teresa of the Child Jesus, 3 October, moved to day after her death, 1 October. Placid and Companions, 5 October, added in 1588, deleted, it is agreed that Saint Placidus, the disciple of Saint Benedict, is distinct from this unknown Sicilian martyr. Mark Pope, 7 October, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Bridget, 8 October, moved to date of her death, 23 July. Sergius, 8 October, deleted, devotion to him is not part of Roman tradition. Marcellus, the 8th of October, deleted, devotion to him is not part of Roman tradition. Bacchus and Apuleius, the 8th of October, deleted, the life of each is completely fabulous. Francis Borgia, the 10th of October, added in 1688, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Maternity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the 11th of October, celebrated in the solemnity of the 1st of January. Edward, the 13th of October, added in 1679, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Margaret Mary Alacock, the 17th of October, moved to the 16th of October, the day before her death. Peter of Alcantara, the 19th of October, added in 1670, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. John of Canty, the 20th of October, moved to the day before his death, the 23rd of December. Hilarion, the 21st of October, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Ursula and Companions, the 21st of October, deleted, their passion is completely fabulous, not even the names of the virgin saints killed at Cologne at an uncertain time are known. Anthony Maria Claret, the 23rd of October, moved to date of his death, the 24th of October. Raphael, the 24th of October, joined with Michael and Gabriel, moved to the 29th of September. Chrysanthus and Daria, the 25th of October, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of them apart from their names and the place of burial at uncertain dates. Evaristus, the 26th of October, deleted, not a martyr, and his day of death is unknown. Christ the King, last Sunday of October moved to last Sunday of Ordinary Time, the Sunday before Advent. Topic. November Topic. Vitalis and Agricola, 4 November, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of these martyrs other than the discovery of their relics by St. Ambrose. Holy Four Crowned Martyrs, 8 November, left to particular calendars. From the historical point of view, there are many difficulties concerning these martyrs. 
Dedication of the Archbasilica of the Holy Saviour, 9 November, renamed Dedication of the Lateran Basilica. Theodore, 9 November, left to particular calendars, nothing is known of this martyr. Andrew Avellino, 10 November, added in 1725, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Trifon, Respicius, and Nympha, 10 November, deleted, nothing is known of these martyrs, none of whom was of Rome. Menas, the 11th of November, left to particular calendars, for centuries not popular in the West. Martin I, the 12th of November, moved to date of his death, the 13th of April. Didicus of Alcala, the 13th of November, added in 1588, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Husafat, the 14th of November, moved to date of his death, the 12th of November. Gregory Thaumaturgus, the 17th of November, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Elizabeth of Hungary, the 19th of November, moved to date of her death, the 17th of November. Pontian, the 19th of November, moved to the 13th of August, joined with Hippolytus. Felix of Valois, the 20th of November, added in 1679, left to particular calendars. From the historical point of view, the documents concerning his life present many difficulties. Felicitas, the 23rd of November, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of this martyr other than her name and the place and day of her burial. John of the Cross, the 24th of November, moved to date of his death, the 14th of December. Chrysogonus, the 24th of November, left to the calendar of the Roman Basilica that bears that name. The Passion of Saint Chrysogonus is entirely fabulous, and he seems not to have been a martyr. Catherine, the 25th of November, deleted. The Passion of Saint Catherine is entirely fabulous, and nothing certain can be stated about her. Sylvester Abbott, added in 1890, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Peter of Alexandria, the 26th of November, left to particular calendars. Devotion to him is not part of Roman tradition, yet a commemoration of Peter, Bishop of Alexandria, adorned with all virtues, is found listed in the official Roman martyrology that the Catholic Church utilized up until and following the Second Vatican Ecumenical Council, 1962 to 65. Saturninus, the 29th of November, left to particular calendars. Nothing is known of him other than his name and the place and day of his burial. Topic: December. Topic: Viviana, the 2nd of December, left to the calendar of the Roman Basilica, bearing that name of an unknown person. Peter Chrysologus, the 4th of December, moved to the day before his death, the 30th of July. Barbara, the 4th of December, deleted, her acts are completely fabulous and there is much disagreement among scholars about where she was martyred. Sabas, the 5th of December, left to particular calendars, not truly of universal importance. Melchiades, the 10th of December, left to particular calendars, died not as a martyr after the peace of Constantine. Eusebius, the 16th of December, moved to the day after his death, the 2nd of August. Thomas, the 21st of December, moved to the date of the transfer of his relics, the 3rd of July, in order not to interrupt the series of major weekdays leading to Christmas. Vigil of Christmas, the 24th of December, reduced to the optional evening mass. Note the commemoration of Saint Anastasia previously included in the second mass of Christmas Day, the 25th of December, is omitted in line with the rule in the revised Roman Missal. At mass only a single collect is ever said and was not mentioned in the commentary on the revision of general Roman calendar, which says of 25 December, "...no change". See also General Roman calendar General Roman calendar of 1960 General Roman calendar of Pope Pius XII General Roman calendar of 1954 Tridentine calendar Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic Mysterii Pascalis <references>